Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I am back to do another new release Tuesday video. Today I'm talking about books that come out on Tuesday, October 16th. So the first book I have for you guys is Unsheltered by Barbara Kingsolver. Willa Knox and her husband followed all of the rules as responsible parents and professionals and have nothing to show for it except for debts and an inherited brick house that is falling apart. The magazine where Willa worked has folded. The college where her husband had tenure closed. Their dubious shelter is also the only option for a disabled father-in-law and their free-spirited daughter. When the family's one success story, an Ivy League educated son is uprooted by tragedy, he seems to be headed back home as well with complications of his own. A science teacher with a passion for honest investigation, Thatcher Greenwood finds himself under siege. His employer forbids him from speaking about the exciting new work published by Charles Darwin. His young bride and social climbing mother-in-law bristle at the thought of the scandal and dismiss his worries that their house is unsound. Thatcher wants only to honor his duties, but his friendships with a female scientist and a renegade journalist threaten to draw him into a vendetta against the town's most powerful men. So Unsheltered is the story about these two families living in two separate centuries who both live on the street corner in New Jersey, and they both are navigating what seems to be the end of the world as they know it. These characters paint an extremely relevant portrait of life during turbulent times when the foundations of the past have failed to prepare us for what is coming in the future. So if you are a fan of Barbara Kingsolver, if you enjoy historical fiction or family sagas, or just good written stories in general, then you can pick up Unsheltered by Barbara Kingsolver. Next up, I have The Library Book by Susan Orlean. On the morning of April 28th, 1986, a fire alarm went off in the Los Angeles Public Library. As moments passed, the patrons and staff who had been cleared out of the building realized that this was not a normal fire alarm. This fire was disastrous. It reached more than 2,000 degrees and lasted for longer than seven hours. By the time it was extinguished, it consumed about 4,000 books and damaged more than 700,000. Investigators descended on the scene, but more than 30 years later, no one seems to know if this fire was set on purpose and if so, by whom. So in this book, Orlean chronicles this fire as well as the aftermath to show the role that libraries play in our lives, as well as to look at the evolution of libraries across the country throughout the years. And along the way, she introduces us to an unforgettable cast of characters both past and present. So I know a lot of people out there really enjoy books about books and I'm sure that books about libraries are also on that list. So if you enjoy again books about books or books with a little bit of a true crime element to it, Susan Orlean is a really well-known prize-winning writer and journalist and does a lot of these sort of true crime adjacent stories. So if any of that sounds of interest to you, then you can pick up the library book today. Next, I have an essay collection and that is Everything's Trash But It's Okay by Phoebe Robinson. Robinson's latest essay collection covers a wide variety of topics, from giving feminism a good talking to about intersectionality, telling society's beauty standards to kick rocks, and calling foul with our culture's obsession with work. She also gets personal, talking about money problems that she's hidden from her parents, how dating is mainly a warmed over bowl of hot mess, and definitely the most important, meeting Bono not once, but twice. She struggled with being a woman with a political mind and a woman with a changing gene size. She knows about trash because she's seen it nearly every single day and because she's seen like a hundred thousand hours of reality television and zero hours of Schindler's List. So Phoebe Robinson wrote the book You Can't Touch My Hair and I forgot what the rest of the title is, <laughs> but I really enjoyed that essay collection. And Phoebe Robinson just has like a really great point of view about the world that we are currently living in. If you enjoy essay collections with a twinge of humor and pop culture references, or you listen to the two Dope Queens podcast, then you are already well aware of Phoebe Robinson. Uh, but she's just a really great comedian and essayist and observationalist, and you can pick up Everything's Trash But It's Okay today. Next I have A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tara Mafi. It's 2002, which is an extremely turbulent year politically, but especially for someone like Shirin, a 16-year-old Muslim girl who is tired of being stereotyped. Shirin is never surprised by how terrible people can be. She's tired of the rude stares, the degrading comments, and even physical violence that she endures 
because of her race, her religion, and the hijab that she wears. So she's built up protective walls and refuses to let anyone get close enough to hurt her. Instead, she drowns her frustrations in music and spends hours breakdancing with her brother. But then she meets Ocean James. He's the first person in Forever who seems to actually want to get to know Shirin. It terrifies her. They come from two irreconcilable worlds. And Shirin has had her guard up for so long that she's not exactly sure if she can let it down. So Tahara Mafi is probably best well known for writing fantasy series and this sounds like the first sort of contemporary book that she's written and it's one that has me very intrigued. Um, if you aren't aware, Tara Mafi wears a hijab herself and so I'm sure that a lot of the experiences that she talks about with the character Shirin is stuff that she has had to deal with personally and so if you are interested in reading about the experience of a young Muslim girl growing up in this country, um, or you just enjoy a good contemporary young adult book, then you can pick up a very large expanse of sea. So next up, something a little bit fun, and it seems kind of early, but let's be real, we're getting pretty close to the holiday season, so it's coming out basically in a good time. And that is How the Dukes Stole Christmas, which is a new romance anthology from Tessa Dare, Sarah McLean, Sophie Jordan, and Joanna Shoup. Christmas magic is in the air. From the ballrooms of London to abandoned castles in Scotland to snowy streets of Gilded Age New York, four best-selling romance novelists team up to put together this anthology series. So I'm not going to go into the synopsis of every single one of these stories, but if you are a fan of romance novels, specifically Regency romances, I'm sure that these names are familiar to you, and I think that it's going to be kind of fun to see how they put this anthology together and if there's sort of like a connecting string or anything along those lines. So yeah, this sounds like a great book to pick up for the holiday season. And again, that's called How the Dukes Stole Christmas. All right, and the final book that I have for you guys is The Black Khan, which is book two in the Khorasan archives. Hopefully I said that correctly. And this is by Asma Zayanat Khan. So this is the second book in her epic fantasy quartet. And this series is being described as somewhere in between N.K. Jemisin and George R.R. R. Martin. And in this series, you are following a powerful band of women who must use their magic to fight an evil regime. To fight against the cruel and superstitious patriarchal group known as Talisman, members of the resistance group known as Companions of Hera have risk their lives in a failed attempt to procure the blood print. A dangerous text that may have the answers in how to overthrow this dangerous regime. Now, with their plans in ashes, the companions of Hira have scattered, and the lives of two brave women at the center of the plot face unprecedented danger. The companions of Hira must somehow reunite, break through talisman lines, and invade Ashfall, which is the seat of Rook the Black Khan, whose court is ruled by intrigue and conspiracy. A mastery of treachery himself, the Black Khan joins forces with these women to manipulate them for his own ends. But as Ashfall comes under siege, he's forced to make his own dangerous calculations, one that could cause irreversible damage to the companions and their fight for freedom. So if you are a fan of epic fantasy series, this might be one that you haven't heard of before. Um, I'm personally a big fan of her mystery series and I've been wanting to check out the series, but I'm like the type of person who likes to wait until a couple of books in the series are out. Um, but this one sounds really interesting and I want to make sure that there are more of them out. So I might end up picking up the first book and then I can go ahead and pick up the second book and you guys can do that as well. And again, book two is called The Black Con. So those are all of the books that I have for you guys this week. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what books you guys are excited about that are out today, whether it's one of these or another one that I didn't mention in this video. Otherwise, I will see you guys again next Tuesday with another new release video. Bye.